Hey, what's up, people? It's just truly, you know what it is. Back at it again. It's been a very long day. As you know, I started very early this morning shooting a couple videos with my cell phone. That's right, my LG NV. I love the cell phone. As soon as I get enough money, I'm going to retire it and put in my Hall of Fame. As soon as I can get that established, and I'm going to have the Voyager. Yes, sir. But during the meantime, I'm going to embrace my LG Envy, and it's actually one of the features I like about my LG Envy. But this is not what I want to talk about today. I can do that another time. What I want to talk about is actually one of my favorite shows today. I mean, I'm talking about not no just reality show, not no just no comedy or whatever. I mean, this is a really serious issue show, but hasn't got a lot of love until lately. It's called Jericho. It be shown on your local CBS station. It's basically a post-apocalyptic drama that pretty much has everything in it. Explosions, violence, a little sex here, a little brotherly love there. No, I'm not talking about the brotherly love you think I'm talking about. I'm talking about actual bonding and shit. Anyway, it has all types of races and backgrounds in this uh, drama, television, event. It's more an event. It's actually, it, it lasted through one season. It's going through its second season. It actually, it's a very unique story behind Jericho because originally it was canceled, what was it, last year? But um, thanks to the fan effort, they said a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of nuts. These nuts. Putting the meaning of these nuts, definitely for sure. So uh, thank the fans for Jericho and. Um, doing that ever to bring back the show for at least another seven episodes which actually started uh, last week on the 12th and actually within the next less than a half hour episode two of season two is about to come on well what is Jericho I explained it just a little bit but um, I'm not going to go too deep in it because I actually want you to watch the show and figure out the story yourself but uh, I'm going to just go through a quick summarization of Jericho it's starring uh, Skeet Eldred, who plays, uh, oh, God. <laughs> he plays Jacob Green Jr., or actually Jake Green. And uh, he has a brother, and he has a family. He's from a small town, Jericho, Kansas, but it's not necessarily based on him. Basically what happened, the whole United States of America gets nuked, practically. Every major city gets nuked, blah, 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 boom, 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 boom. Next thing you know, everybody's in the Stone Age, per se. But what happens basically, Jake and um, this guy named Robert Honkers, or stars uh, Lenny James, a British actor, black British actor for that fact, with a fine ass wife and a fine ass mistress. Technically, I don't know, I'll go there another day. Along with a few other characters, the mom and uh, the guy who played Major Dad. Uh, I can't think of his name. Oh, Rain McNally, I believe his name is. Oh, man. I know people's going to go after me over this. Anyway, he. Um, he was a key figure in season one onto the show of Jericho. And uh, basically, he goes through the struggles of a post apocalyptic, basically, after nuclear fallout. All these, t all these uh, the refugees start going into the safe areas and stuff. Anyway, um, put a s long story short, Jericho's based on a small town in middle Kansas, which happened to be a safe area from all the nuclear bombs being blown up all over the country and stuff. And basically, the town is isolated from the outside world. And most of season one was basically dealing with the trials and tribulations of uh, survival, basically. Uh, you had key figures and antagonists and protagonists and all that good old screen actor guild shit. But it's a pretty good story. Like I said, uh, Skeet Elders is one of the main characters. He plays like the, the hero, per se, and a lot of key elements of the show. Also, supporting actor uh, Lenny James, who plays Robert Hawkins. And uh, Robert Hawkins, he has to be one of the important key figures because he is the link to uh, what, why uh, the stuff was going on with the bombs and stuff. And, and it's very important that he needs the community as much as the community needs him. And uh, a lot of other things goes on and a lot of factors from uh, real life situations also contributed like Hurricane Katrina, uh, September 11th. Uh, it also came me have me thinking well what if something really like this actually happened I mean to a point where a well established country my country the United States goes into anarchy literally I mean imagine 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 this I had to think about stuff like Kosovo not Kosovo um, 
No, Kosovo. Kosovo, the Serbian. Okay, sorry about that. Like Kosovo, Rwanda. Imagine this. Hurricane Katrina, Kosovo, Albania, freaking uh, Rwanda, and stuff all wrapped up in one big old cluster dramatic drama fest. Well, maybe I'm speaking too broadly about it, but anyway, watch the show Jericho because I'm telling you, you're going to like it. It, I mean, it has everything in it. It has little heroics here and now, and it, and it, 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 it like it's pretty simple. It's very realistic. It's nothing like paranormal or scientific about. It. I love my sci-fi stuff, but it's very realistic. Going in, and, and it has a lot of suspense in it. You know, it keeps you on the edge and stuff. And like I said, it's definitely an underdog show, and it's definitely, believe it or not, I think it's a family show. So one that everybody in the family, including the dog and the cat, can relate to. Also for the single people like myself who got nothing better to do right now. No, I take that back. But anyway, it's a show for everybody. Jericho's the show. Watch at your local CBS station and check your local TV listings. Also, if you want to catch up with season one, go watch the Sci Fan channel and find out when it's scheduled. And um if you don't got the time to do that, you can always look up online. I believe CBS.com still showing season one Jericho episode. So also check that out. And also, if you want the DVD, yes, they're selling the DVD. Why I sound like a commercial? Anyway, get it at your local video outlet or whatever. That's all I'm trying to say. Jericho is the bomb. Especially the ladies. So, uh, Sienna Goins, the girl who plays Sarah Mason. Whew. God. I don't know why. Anyway, I don't know why. Ugh. I seen it in a car commercial recently. Anyway, and the girl who plays uh what's her name? April D. Parker, I believe her name. She plays Darcy, Robert Hawkins' wife. Woo, boy, that girl got some thigh on. Anyway, enough about my fantasy and stuff, but hey, Sherco is the show to watch. For y'all guys that want babes, hey, it's in there. Guys who like hunk girl girly girls like hunks and that type of stuff, it's in there. Y'all like old people talking junk. It's in there. You like people arguing? It's in there. It, it has a million and one things on the show. It's just like the typical show, but it, it's, well, I'll let you figure out for yourself. This is me, Rico Rich. I'm not trying to, you know, act stupid or nothing. But that's Jericho. Check it out. It's on CBS. Support the show. Hopefully it goes season three. I hope it goes beyond seven episodes. Today's see uh, episode two in 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out real quick. And um, like I said, CBS, Jericho. Oh, uh, what time is it? 10 o'clock Eastern Time on Tuesday. Actually, I heard it told it twice, but it's 10 o'clock Eastern Time, which is today, the 19th, February 2008. Wow. 20 minutes, 10 o'clock Eastern Time. So if you're in Eastern Time, so you know what channel you need to be watching on. Anyway, let me cut this short. I really got to go. All right, peace.